In this video, you will learn how to extract XML data from the input file. We'll start with the best practice that is to create the metadata for the XML file. And we'll use a TXML input uh, component to read the data from the input file. And also we will use um, uh, TXtract XML components uh, for uh, extracting a few fields from a um, uh, file. And also we will look at an example with a txml map wherein we will use another xml file for the lookup and we'll uh, join those two uh, xml file and read uh, the details from the other uh, xml file all right so let's get started here is the xml file that we will be using uh, for the talent uh, demonstration purpose uh, so this is the xml file with the uh, data set as a root tag and under that we have five records as you can see, uh, this is first record, second and third, fourth, fifth record. And each of the record has got three fields, uh, the ID, first name, and then the last name. And all the values will be embedded um, between the opening tag and then the closing tag. All right, so let's, let's use uh, one of the external tool uh, to validate the XML here. So this is one, uh, one of the sample uh, application that you can find it on Google. Um, basically what it does is it takes an input XML content and it will give us the XPath results. So what is XPath? XPath is basically the query um, where using which you can extract a particular uh, field from a particular record. So let's go ahead and uh, make use of this website to generate our XPath which we will be using uh, in our talent job also. Alright, so let's say if I want to extract um, the ID from the first record, just go ahead and click on this and you will be able to uh, get the XPath results for this. And as you can see, uh, one means this is the first record and so on, uh, you can find out and then uh, you can copy this uh, XPath in your talent job uh, so that you can, um, we don't have to worry uh, parsing the XML, finding out and uh, doing a lot of error and trial uh, in talent this is the quickest way to uh, get the xpath from uh, websites uh, for this you can just go to google and then type in um, something like x uh, xpath finder from xml you can choose any one of the um, you know resulted um, suggestions i personally like this tool um, it, it is very quick and and easy to get uh, the XPath. All right, so now that we have our XML file ready and also XML path ready, let's get into talent. Uh, the first thing, in this uh, we will have three examples. In the first example, we will create the talent uh, metadata for this XML file and then use it uh, to print it on the console. And in the second example, we'll use uh, XML extract fields uh, to retrieve only certain uh, fields from the input file and then print it on the console and in the third example we'll uh, make use of XML map uh, which is basically um, works as a T map uh, but this is um, with respect to XML you can perform XML lookups filtering um, adding another you know, custom columns and everything and passing uh, your output to one or multiple uh, output um, you know targets all right so let's say it started with the first one uh, to create the XML metadata in order to do that uh, you should navigate uh, under the metadata uh, you will find a section called file XML all you'll have to do is right click create XML file give some name uh, in my case it's a uh, users XML click next and we'll be using it as input XML so click next and then um, we will be browsing for that XML file uh, this is the file all right so we'll uh, we'll leave with UTF-8 encoding for now because this is international standard and you should be using in, if you are encountering special characters or international characters so it is for that purpose and uh, you can actually set the limit uh, so that you don't have to read millions of uh, records from the XML. Um, by default, zero means it will just read everything. 
all right so as uh, we have seen we have this data set as our root element and the next uh, we have is a record under record we have id first name last name and we have five such records all right uh, click on next and uh, as you can see in this window there are three sections one is the source schema the target schema wherein you will have to specify the loop uh, expression and also fields to extract right so in this um, example uh, as we have seen this record tag contains five such records right so this should be our uh, loop element so that uh, when when we read the data it will use this tag uh, xpath uh, to uh, retrieve each and every record in the input file and the remaining fields uh, will go into fields to extract so this is how you connect from your source to target and you can click on the refresh preview to see the output yes it is uh, all fine I'm able to see ID first name last name click on next you can give some name here uh, you can give users and you don't have to worry on the uh, data type and the length it will automatically uh, take it but if you foresee uh, data length uh, higher uh, you may want to adjust the length and then click on finish all right now we have this um, uh, XML metadata created I'm going to pull this into my job design and you'll be using it as an input all right, so from here, I will uh, go ahead and um, print it on the console using tlog row. We will connect. Um, in order to connect, yeah, you have two options. Either you directly drag and uh, drop here, or uh, you can right click on this component, uh, click on main, and click on to this um, log row. All right, uh, next thing is to set up this uh, tlog row. We'll use a table format so that it is easy to understand and we'll quickly check. All right, we have the schema exactly uh, same as our uh, input. All right, that's all. Uh, go ahead and save your job and then uh, run your job. All right, as you can see, um, the tlog row three, uh, which is now printing all the three column and values from our input XML file. So that's all. Uh, in the first example, we created the metadata. We use this as an uh, input file and then print it on the console. Um, all right, let's go ahead and work on the second example uh, to extract uh, XML fields from an input file. So for this, um, we I will go ahead and make use of T file input delimited. And let's go ahead and choose that file is present in the talent and input folder and let's go ahead and pick up this users so here the catch is uh, we will be just creating one column with the entire XML body so there's only one column that has entire XML as an input and we are going to remove this uh, row separator and also um, we don't have to specify any uh, field del delimiter all right, so we will not worry about header and footer. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and start using it. And let's bring in our XML extract component. So this is the extract XML fields component that you can pull it from the palette. And let's go ahead and click it and drag it on top of uh, extract XML. So now we have entire XML as a string and as a one column from your input uh, component uh, under this extract XML field um, so this these are the some of the configuration uh, it's going to uh, use this uh, entire XML as our input body and uh, as we have seen if we go back to this sheet um, we have slash data set slash record in order to fetch uh, these three fields so we'll be uh, making use of it. Let's copy it and uh, let's type it here. All right, so now we have uh, defined our XPath. Um, and the next step is to create the columns. All right, columns uh, should be created here. 
Um, so this is the input. Uh, we don't have to change anything here. But on the extract XML component, we need uh, two of the columns. All right. So first column, let's uh, keep it as the first name, and then the last name. All right. I just want to extract these two fields. Um, let's go ahead and click OK. And the next uh, thing is to um, get the XPath query for individual uh, column names. And if you go back, uh, our file input file has first underscore name and last underscore name. Uh, the name should match here on the talent. The first underscore name, last underscore name. And uh, we will have to um, provide the same query. As you see, uh, we have already, um, you know, set this uh, XPath query already. So all we have to do is uh, for each of the column, we have to provide the XPath, and uh, that's it. All right, let's output this uh, into a T log row. And on the T log row, we'll just uh, use the table format. We'll sync the column and quickly see first name to first name, last name. We'll go ahead and save the job and uh, clear the output. Let's uh, go ahead and run the job. All right. So as you can see, our uh, entire XML data is read as one particular row uh, because we have created only one column that holds entire XML value. And uh, in this extra extract XML field, we have uh, successfully extracted five such records. And here is the output. This is the output from our second example. Um, to uh, make use of extract XML field uh, using uh, this loop XML um, XPath query and we created um, the columns provided the name exactly same as our XML and then finally uh, wrote our uh, output into the console all right so in the third example uh, we will use XML map component uh, basically what it does um, okay so we have this ready here so we'll just bring it onto our job design. So what it does is it, it can take, um, uh, you know, input and also it can uh, perform the lookup. So for this demonstration, I have another XML file. Um, so in our existing um, file, we have just the ID and the first name, last name. I have another XML file that contains email, gender, uh, phone, age, sex, and um, uh, pin code as well. All right, we'll use the second uh, file as our input component and then try to extract these detail and print it on the console. So for that, let's go back to our um, talent studio and we'll quickly drag in the users as an input uh, XML component. And as you can see, um, everything is already defined and we have to just go ahead and click on this um, XML map you have another choice as i said earlier you can go to row and main and click on this component now uh, we will have to uh, so our in input uh, file has got only uh, two fields um, basically the first name and last name but we want to read uh, email uh, phone age and every other details from the other file so for that let's use um, Another uh, XML um, file metadata will create from our detail and we'll call it as users details. And we'll be using uh, users details XML. All right, so here is where uh, we have all other extra uh, fields. We'll go ahead and set this uh, record as our um, XPath loop um, expression and rest of the uh, fields into the fields to extract. You can quickly see the refresh preview. Yes, it is working fine. Click on next, finish. 
all right so i'll be using uh, this user uh, details as an um, a lookup so for that uh, i'll be using t file input xml component all right so i will arrange it a little bit all right so we will use we'll take the main output and then connect to our xml map so as you can see uh, our users is a main input and lookup is our um, um, you know lookup for the detailed uh, information let's go ahead and double click on xml map Alright, so here uh, what we have to do is uh, this is our main and this is the lookup. So we'll join um, the main input flow with our lookup. So the way you do it is uh, one way is to just drag and drop the ID field or you can directly type in uh, row 7 dot ID. So this will automatically map. The other way to uh, map is basically the, by clicking this option and using, um, you know, uh, type here row 7 dot first name. You can use uh, this way as well. Uh, for now, we'll just use, um, we'll just use the ID as our joining condition. And here, when you click on uh, there are three settings here um, basically it shows uh, what type of lookup model that we want to join and what's the match model what's the type of the join so by default uh, left outer join will be selected which means if you have um, five IDs coming from uh, my main input and if you have only four matching it will be passing all the four matching ones and uh, a null will be passed for the fifth one which is missing in our lookup table all right um, uh, so next step is to create the output um, and we will drag these fields from the main to our target so these are our uh, raw uh, input um, fields and from our lookup file we will uh, get only the email, gender, IP address, salary, all other details to our target. All right, um, so this output is automatically created. Click OK. And um, on this console, all you have to do is just type in log row. And what you can do is just do a right click on the map, click on the out, and click on this um, log row we'll choose a table uh, for the easier uh, weaving purposes all right so now that we have created uh, let's sync the column save the job and let's go ahead and uh, run the job to see so basically what it does is uh, reads the users XML file and also reads uh, user details uh, for the additional detail and then uh, all together it's going to print all the details on the console let's go to the run tab and then click on uh, clear and then run all right so as you can see we have five records in the source and five read from the lookup and five are written to the target I'll show you by expanding it. All right, so these are the fields that we are uh, sourcing from both our uh, main and also from the lookup. So this is how uh, XML map is used to perform um, join. This is exactly same as Tmap, uh, wherein we can um, uh, work with files, database. Uh, this particular XML map works only with the XML part and it works beautifully and this is how you make use of uh, your XML metadata and your XML extract fields and then uh, using the TXML map components in Thailand.